I don't know where it's gonna rip. You. Wait. <laughs> Hello, friends. It's me. I've been seeing a bunch of TikToks about this new Netflix show called Squid Game, and I wanted to understand the memes. I watched the first few episodes, and I love the show. I really enjoyed it so far. Would definitely recommend it. I haven't finished it yet, so no spoilers, please. But in the show, there are death games. Today, I wanted to try out some of the death games to see if I would survive and win all the money in the piggy bank. Probably not, but let's try. One of the games involves a sugar honeycomb. Basically, they ask you to pick a shape. There's like circle, triangle, star, umbrella. And basically those shapes are printed into a piece of hard candy called a honeycomb or a Dalgona candy. Before watching this and I saw it on TikTok, I thought it was a cookie. Basically you have 10 minutes to try to get the shape out of the rest of the candy. If you break the shape or can't complete it in time, you die. The honeycomb is actually really easy to make. All you need is a pan, some sugar, and a pinch of baking soda. And yes, they're vegan. For the shapes, I'm using a cookie cutter. I'm gonna make one that's a star and one that's a circle. Let's begin. So we're gonna pour our sugar into the pan. I think that's enough. And then we're basically gonna keep swirling this for like two, three minutes until it's melted. And you kind of have to keep stirring. What's mommy making? Sugar, sugar's not for dogs. It's starting to get very chunky. So we're gonna keep mixing. Oh, some of it's turning liquidy. And it smells so good in here. It smells like candy. Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Except there's no chocolate, it's just sugar. Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat because this is actually melting way faster than I thought it was gonna melt. Like, Dang, we're already halfway there. What's this gonna make, like one cookie? It's not a cookie, but I'm going to continue to call it a cookie. Anything round that you eat can be a cookie. Okay, so once it gets to this texture, you're gonna put like a tiny, tiny bit of, hello, baking soda, come out please. Ooh, a pinch, just a pinch. <gasps> and then it turns into this pretty color, whoa! Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat because it's already starting to bubble up and I think it's basically done. Before it burns, I'm going to put it on the wax paper. Ooh, I might be able to make another one. Oh no, it's like burning. <laughs> I gotta hurry, okay, I'm gonna flatten them. So you're gonna take a flat surface and just press. You came out good. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in my shape. Circle for this one, a star for this one. I think it burned. Attempt number two. I really want this to work though. We're melting some more sugar. And you have to move extremely quick. Getting chunky. I had it on high heat before. I'm gonna do it on low heat now just so I have more time. Mmm, chunky. Chunky like a monkey. I'm gonna get one perfect cookie out of this. Just one, that's all I need. This one looks promising. It's looking like the right color. I'm worried if I smush it, it's gonna mess it up. Ever so slightly flatten it. And then we got one design. I'm gonna do the star, cause that's hard. Hello, star. Oh, that's probably enough material in my gut. Okay, now this is stuck. Bro, come on. Must be easy. That is the ugliest star I've ever seen. I would get this one. <laughs> would you like to see the failed attempt? These don't even come off the paper. They're so thin. Mmm, tastes delicious though. What did I do wrong? Now we're gonna wait for it to harden. The circle one came out decent, but. Uh, Oh wait, no, I broke it, but the circle's still intact, as you can see. I think the best way to do this is honestly to lick it until the shape falls out. That's what I would do. I took a couple of licks to this, and then when you point it towards the light, you can see that the circle is about to come out. A few more licks. I definitely got all the time in the world. And it's even more apparent. <gasps> I feel like I can safely crack. <laughs> well, I'm dead. There goes my life. Okay, this is probably harder than I thought it would be. It can really crumble that easily. There are no do-overs. That would be it for me. I can't believe this. So that one was a very thin cookie. This one's a more meaty one. If I can even get it off of the parchment paper. Okay, half of this is still wax. Unfortunately, I don't have a needle, so I'm gonna be using a toothpick. Yeah, there is there is no way. We got this on hard mode. Get out of here. Not aesthetic. 
Now I feel like the hardest thing about Squid Game is that you have the loud sounds of the gunshots like distracting you. So even if you think you can do it with a normal state of mind, you're like under a full panic mode. Oh my God, this looks delicious. I was just, <sighs> it smells so good. The warm scent of sugar is real comforting when people around you are dying. Wait, no, 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 no. Ah. I would be the person that like hides it from the guards like no, uh-uh. I did not mess up. This is really good. Ah! <laughs> I did it. Well, that was way harder than I thought it was gonna be, but at least I got to taste it. I feel like a failure, so I want to try again. We're gonna play the first death game, the red light, green light one. Basically, I'm gonna start all the way back here. And I have to run to the camera. We're gonna play the sound. We had an air horn and I was like, whoa, finally a good use for it. And guess what? As soon as we record, it is out of air horn juice. Useless! What's supposed to have made this hard are people are dying all around you and you didn't even know people were gonna die. I feel like this is gonna be so easy so I'm just gonna watch some of this. Ah! Oh, this is so hard. to simulate that. Several days later. I woke up today very unsatisfied with yesterday's results. And so here I am doing this for the third time. I'm gonna get it right this time. That is a pretty color. That's gonna make a good one. I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit. I'm gonna flatten them just a tiny bit with the bottom of a candle tin. Now. I think wax paper is just not the move with these. You probably have to use just straight up. That still stuck. Before it's almost hardened, you can do the little stamp. Okay, these came out better. I think we got a good one. I think this is the best it's gonna get. Perhaps this one, because I don't have the metal tool that just <laughs> smooshes it in. For my third and final attempt, I feel like this one could just pop out. The circle and the fact that it's imprinted so nicely that I could just Okay, I'm safe. I'm still safe. Still got some wax paper on the back. I would not recommend using wax paper because it sticks so badly to these. I thought wax paper wasn't supposed to stick. I'm gonna take the needle for the genuine Squid Game experience and just, ooh, chipped away at that. <gasps> Halfway there, but I have to be careful because I don't know where it's gonna rip. You. I think the best technique to be safe and make sure that you survive this round is just to use a needle and just keep going at it. Go crazy with it for 10 minutes. Okay, the star is very unfortunate. I feel like I probably would have picked the star or the circle. The metal tin kind of makes it harder. <gasps> my needle just snapped and now my cookie snapped. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.